loyalty toward the humans. Loyalty? How could I? They disgust me. The fact that they even exist disturbs me. The guide I showed you things. He showed me the awful truth, which I already knew on some level. I always thought there was hope for them. Thousands of years and they haven't changed a bit. Generation after generation of new faces and still no progress. Funny that they consider the Neanderthals to be part of their ancient history. Not much has changed since then. They dress it up with clothes and words, concealing their evils expertly. Old philosopher of my people once said, Intelligence encourages stupidity. Interesting statement. What? What is that? Just ignore them. They are little more than ghosts to this world. Spirits? They are sage. You realize that nothing ever dies. It only changes into something else. Death is only the beginning. These are your dead? No. First rate to have ever been observed was a few thousand years ago. Even today it is not common to encounter them, unless you are in a place where there is much death. They are drawn to it. Yes, because they both are on the dead. Watch the wraith. What is it doing? Drawing out the soul, the consciousness, all that made the creature what it was. It's knowledge especially. They gather knowledge and sift through the memories of the dead for answers. Answers to what questions? To where the fallen master may be hidden. Nihara. Their master? That would make these the... The immortals. Or what they have become. Their search is endless. Their minds gone. Only a shadow of their being remains which understands very little. And how do you know? Have you ever talked to a wraith? They speak their own bizarre speech. An unknowable language. Only spoken in a realm of shades. Really now? Our two Freddy may turn against us in time. I recognize it could happen, but after what I showed him, he certainly won't ever side with a human. Not after seeing their ugliness over the century. Ah, just who I wanted to see. The immortal. Has there been any progress? Oh yes, quite a bit. That sounds entirety. So you have recollection of your life as an immortal? No, but I've spent many hours listening to the signals of the human military. Listening? Yes, radios were built into the helmets of my comrades. I can easily eavesdrop on their conversations with it. They are scrambled, but I can decipher it. Indeed. It appears they've organized an offensive, planning to send troops here to your dimension with one firm goal in mind, the destruction of Shubnegaroth. They called her by name. No, they have a code name for her, called Quake. I have no idea how they found out about her. Then we strike fast. Good. I can even tell you where to strike, where it will hurt the most. I am beginning to like you, Max. I have a condition. You're in no position to make demands. It's nothing, Hyraxagida. I only want to drop in on an old friend and kill him personally. You have it. I shall gather the warriors. Wait. First, let's divide the humans. Divide them how? The green ones with the machines connected to their brains. They are easily controllable because of those devices they place there. Weakened wills, no scruples, and already on the edge of turning against those who made them what they are. I shall give them a nudge the rest of the way and enjoy the results. Divide and conquer. 